Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of Scala. In this video, I'll be talking about mutable and immutable variables. In the previous video of variables and the uh, printing options, I've already have discussed in a brief way, but in this video, I'll be talking about it with the help of example. Let's get started. First is immutable variables. Immutable is defined as unchangeable, or we can say it's, it is that thing which we cannot change. Right, further. So, Immutable variables are basically like constants. Once they are assigned a value, the value can never be changed in the future. This is the meaning of immutable. How we can declare an immutable variable? We can declare the immutable variable. We use the VAL keyword that we already have used in a previous video as well. In the Scala, the general rule is, is to use the VAL field unless there is a good reason not to. It means we always, in most of the times, we go with the VAL as a prefix. This is how we can declare an immutable variable. Next is mutable variables. It's opposite of that. It is defined as something that can be altered and mutable variables are just that. Variables whose values can be altered. This is called mutable variables. And how we can declare? With the help of VAR keyword. Now let's see with the help of Scala terminal how the VAL and VAL works and how the mutable variable is different from immutable variable. Let's go to that Scala terminal now. I've already have opened up this and I've already have run some couple of commands here. Uh, you can see first here in this little example, I'm using VAL space message colon string equal to hello world. In this case, I'm using VAL as a prefix. You can see I got answer hello world, right? As expected. Then in next example, I'm using again VAL message string equal to hello world. At, at the next line, I'm using message equal to unboxing big data. It means I'm trying to violate that condition which I said in, a, in the PPT. It's saying that on the line 2, there's an error, reassignment to VAL, it is not allowed. You can see now, I already have used hello world, I already have stored in a message, right? But here, it's not allowed that I, I can now store unboxing big data in the message, right? It's already been assigned the hello world. Then I'm using VAR example. In this case, again, I'm using hello world uh, string, right? I'm using this... Uh, Right, so hello world assigned to the message and when I'm printing the message, I'm getting answer hello world. Right, you can see here, hello world. Afterwards, I'm using uh, VAR message string equal to hello world, message equal to unboxing big data. Now, here I haven't got any error because the message got prefixed with the VAR and it is showing at the last mutated message, right? And I got, I'm getting answer unboxing big data. It means it has got overwritten. So this is the difference between VAL and VAR. So in the VAL, I'm getting an error, reassignment error. But in the case of VAR, I'm just getting the acknowledgement. It's a mutated message. I hope uh, you must have understood the difference between mutable and immutable variable. For the next stuff, I'll be discussing in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video.